In this video, we're going to be learning about equivalent fractions. So if we have a problem like this one that says, use the models to complete the equivalent fraction sentence. And here we could see we have a circle that's cut in half. So we know that fraction is half, one half, one over two. So what's the equivalent fraction for this model? So first, let's talk about what equivalent fraction means. And equivalent fraction means the same shape, size, and colored area <clears throat> as the other model. So this one would have to have the same shape, size, and colored area as this one. And we could see that it does. So we have two colored pieces that are equal parts out of a total of four. So one, two, three, four. So we have two out of four colored parts. So we know that's what we have to put there is two. So let's put that in. So two out of four. So now what if it looks like this? We have more colored areas. So we know that the fractions are equivalent when the colored area is the same in both models, right? So I said that for the first one. So we could see that this is the same amount of colored area as this one and this one. So we know that the fractions are going to be equivalent. So now we just have to find what the fraction is. So the fraction is, we count how many th there are. So there are one, two, three, three colored ones out of six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We know there's six total equivalent equal shapes, right? So there's three out of six are shaded. So we could put that in as three. So three out of six. So we know all these fractions here are equivalent because the colored areas are the exact same size and shape for each one. So now if we have another one, And let's show that one. So what about this one? This one we could see has the exact equal shape, size, and color as the other ones, right? So we know that those, the fraction here is going to be equivalent to these ones as well, right? So let's count the number of parts. So we have how many equal parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts. And there's one, two, three, four, four equal shaded parts. So that's how we know what the equation is. So the fraction is, I'm, I mean, is four, four over eight. So we know that all these fractions are equivalent because the shaded area is exactly the same size and shape for all three of them. And don't worry if you don't understand this right away, you could just rewind the video and watch it again. And practice makes improvement.